All right, here's the hitch. As you can tell, it's going on a small vehicle. But here's the hitch, got the heavy duty version. Capacity is 3,500 pounds, which is much more than, guess what vehicle it's going on? Oh yeah, the same vehicle I did the uh, faulty alarm system work on. Yeah, even little Toyota Privias can tow stuff. Inline four cylinders. After all, all it'll be towing is a little 5x7 trailer with a 48 inch lawnmower on it. So here it is. Let's see what we have to do. All right. The, these tie down pieces, in other words, for towing the vehicle that you use these to tie them down because they're attached to the frame, must be removed. So I can see I got the bolts out there, and there they are over there. And man, they were a pain to get out because they were literally rusted in here all these, oh, 15 years, I guess. Yeah. It's about how old this vehicle is. And did the same thing on this side over here, except we were missing a bolt in that one there. And then, over here on the hitch, it's really simple. These just replace them, provided they're not too rusty. So we'll get some WD-40 and get them in there. Really simple, had no idea it could be this easy. Okay, here's the bolts, and as you can see, they're metric. Got the 8.8 .8 there. That's about, that's equivalent to about a grade, um, let's see, what would that be? That would be grade, yeah, grade five bolt in the English measurements. So we got 8.8 .8 strength bolts here. That's pretty good. And I'm not exactly sure what, what, uh, how many threads per inch and what the exact diameter is. But these just go through on the hitch here. Bolt up into the frame, tighten to 60 foot-pounds of torque with my torque wrench here, and then we're good to go. All right, the hitch is finally on, and although I said earlier that this would be simple, yes, it was simple, but the fact that this vehicle has been in uh, multiple accidents, including a pretty serious rear-end accident, the frame was bent a bit, and therefore the holes didn't line up exactly. So I managed to I managed to bend the frame and the hitch just the tiniest bit and get it in position so these bolts would line up. The one was so off though that I had to bore out a hole and uh, stick a bolt through there and then put a, a nut on the other end. Fortunately, it was one where I could get to it easily. But um, as you can see here, these pieces formerly were tow hooks on the van which were removed and we got the new bolts up in here supporting this hitch it's made to go around this muffler here which before you install something like this make sure you let that muffler cool down because that'll burn you pretty bad and then this bolt back in here holds the bumper on right in here this one and on the other side it's pretty similar except this is the one where it was so off-centered, like you can see up in there, that's where I had to put a, a uh, custom bolt and a nut in there to hold this in. Tighten the 60 foot-pounds of torque. All right, and here is the lighting. And the lighting was very simple. All I had to do was remove these light covers, tap into the vehicle's wiring itself, and then U-Haul says you're supposed to run them through the interior of the vehicle. I just ran them on the exterior and I've got them insulated with some insulation, protect them from heat and uh, debris flying up from the tires and it'll work just as well. And that's what all this is up here. You know, it's probably not the way you're supposed to do it, but it'll work. I've got it water sealed too. And here's this, got a little cover on there. And the thing I like about this wiring harness is it tells you which lights are running. So when you, for example, when you turn the headlights on, this light will come on. And then these are the two turn signals, brakes, and uh, hazard lights here for left and right. So that's pretty cool. And then got the hitch here. And the ball. It's a two-inch ball for the trailers that they'll have and the ones we have here as well. 
So let's go tow something with it. One other thing I had to do, when I was pulling a trailer the other night, let's get this, there we go. I blew a fuse. This thing pops up. There's a little button under here that you push up, then it pops up here. Right here, you'll see a uh, tail. That one says tail lights. That's this fuse right here. I had to up it from a 15 amp to a 20 amp because it kept blowing. Since this isn't designed for pulling trailers, they don't put that big of fuses in there, so I just put a bigger fuse in there, and it works perfectly. Let's go hook up to a trailer and tow something around. Come on, Betsy. All right, she's ready to work. All right, my HD camera's battery died. So now I'm gonna resort back to this. All right, which trailer should we choose? We can't take that one, too much tongue weight. We could take that one, but the lighting's screwed up. We could take this one, but that's way too big. Or the travel trailer, but that's too big as well. Uh-huh. There we go. Perfect size for this van. Oh, I hate this. Every time I go to turn the steering wheel, my hand goes like this. On that horn button. It gets so annoying. Alright, let's hook her up. Okie doke, we're ready to go. The trailer's empty, so it's not like we're going to be hauling any extra weight. So it'll be a good test. As you can see, I've got the running lights on. That little light on is there, pretty handy. Alright, we're secured and ready to go. Alright, let's see how hard this little van can really work. Turn overdrive off. There we go. All right. Let's get up to 35 on a slight downhill. doing what it was made to do at the factory, so what do you expect? It actually rides really smooth. Here we go, pedal to the metal. supercharged version is like. It's probably considerably better. Now, of course, this box trailer isn't near as heavy as this 16-foot flatbed, but it does have a lot more wind resistance. So this thing, although the top speed is probably 67, 68 miles per hour on the flats, 
That thing would probably get going faster because there's no wind resistance, but it would take a little longer. All right, well, I'll tell you, i got to give this little thing credit. It'll work for the little 5x7 trailer with a 48-inch lawnmower, I think. Well, all we need now is some nitrous injection and a, and a tuner and maybe a, maybe a bigger carburetor or something. And hey, this thing will be ready to take on the hills and the highways loaded up. <laughs> oh, but this will work fine. So, no, don't expect too much towing power, but there you go. 1994 Toyota Previa. Non-supercharged, by the way. Just a regular inline-four.